In 1994, Taiwan's constitution was amended to include a clause on the indigenous peoples, which states that the indigenous peoples will be referred to as indigenous person instead of mountain people. In 1997, the indigenous pushed for the fourth amendment requesting the change from indigenous person to the indigenous peoples in the constitution. The cause was strongly supported by Taiwan's Presbyterian Church. The church has played a major role in the indigenous recognition movements in. 1991, 92, 94, and 1997, providing them with funds, ideas, and manpower. At the protest demanding rights and sovereignty for the indigenous, staged between 1991 and 1997, one could always see the banners of the Presbyterian Church in Taiwan and their church members. One could also see students from the theology schools praying before the march. Even pastors sat with crowds to protest the government's injustice. Through it all, the Presbyterian Church stood by the Indian people during their struggle for recognition. Taiwan's Presbyterian Church provided funding and manpower. Over 80% of Taiwan's indigenous people are either Catholics or Protestants. The theology of the Presbyterian Church has gradually become a strong support for indigenous followers. Since 1986, pastors from the church has publicly called himself a member of the indigenous peoples, which further boosted the hope of movement supporters. If we trace our roots, it's clear that we must fight for equality between peoples and not silently accept the status others give us. I think, as an educated indigenous descendant, I emphasize that regardless of religious affiliation, everyone should be more open to thinking about the issue. After many years, even the conservative Catholic Church also acknowledges that August 1st is the Indigenous People's Day. The Catholic Church, echoing the government's respect for indigenous peoples, also acknowledges August 1st as Aboriginal Day. Although it's 10 years late, clergymen from the Catholic Church now put on a mass attire in church activities. After mass, they even join other mass chanting slogans. Asking the government to return natural sovereignty to the indigenous people, the indigenous movement has not stopped even after their status was officially recognized. TATV Weekly.